Hey everyone, Miriam Pierre Louis here. I thought it would be fun to not just look at my DNA results, but to compare my DNA results across three different DNA testing companies and see how they stack up against each other. What's the result going to be? Are they going to be exactly the same or are they going to be different? That's the big question. All right, so let's start with my heritage. That's the one you see on the screen. And you can see here that my heritage is saying my ethnicity is 100% European. They've got 73.9, so basically 74% North and West Europe, of which 37% is Scandinavian. I like the way that it highlights on the map when you hover over that. English is 23. That's the only testing company that actually recognizes my English heritage. And then Irish, Scottish, and Welsh 12.4%. Uh, they also give me 15.9% uh, Eastern European, which they call Balkan, which is over here. And that would be my Czech ancestry. I have a grandfather who was half Czech. And they also give me 10% Iberian, which is really, I, I laughed when I saw that because we have this story in our family about, you know, a, a poor Portuguese uh, sailor's baby being left on the doorstep. Um, and so I was kind of hoping maybe I would see some Portuguese and some Spanish. But if you look really carefully at this map here, see how that circle, it goes all the way over France and Italy, a bit over Germany and into the UK. So my hopes are somewhat being dashed that I have any Spanish or Portuguese blood. I think really what this is accounting for is my Alsatian ancestor. And um, and she lived, my great grandmother, she lived right in the border of France and Germany. So I think that's really what it's picking up and, and not a Spanish or Portuguese blood, unfortunately. All right, let's pop over to family tree DNA. I also tested there. Now, these are tests where I actually spit or, you know, did the cheek swab for these. So these are not transferred results. I actually did the test at each one of these companies. And so here's my ethnic makeup for family tree DNA. And they're saying I'm 100% European. Very boring. No, no diversity at all. They're giving me 16% British Isles. So it looks to me like that also includes, um, you know, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. They're giving me 27% Eastern Europe. So I'm guessing that's where they're putting my Czech ancestry. 9% Scandinavian. Nothing in Southeast Europe, nothing in Iberia. My hopes are definitely dashed with that one. And then most of my ancestry they're putting here in West and Central Europe. And they're not breaking it down further as my heritage had. So let's go take a quick look over at Ancestry DNA. And let's see, my ethnicity estimate here, 50% West Europe or Europe West as they have it listed. But look at this this yellow bubble. It, it's a huge area. I mean, it even goes into Spain a little bit. It covers France and Germany, top of Italy here, Switzerland, Netherlands. I mean, this Europe West. Oh, and it even covers the southern tip of England. So it's really hard to say from this exactly what my ancestry is there. They are giving me 25% Scandinavian. And according to their definition, based on this map right here, Scandinavia is Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. I'm not really seeing the Netherlands included as part of this. Um, and I have no way to account for my for the Scandinavian DNA ethnicity coming up because I have no ancestors from Scandinavia, from Norway, Sweden, or Denmark. The closest I come is ancestors from the Netherlands, my New Netherland Dutch who settled in New York in the 1600s. So maybe they came from Scandinavia before they went to the Netherlands. I don't know. And then Ancestry is giving me 19% Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And it, as of this recording date, which is December 2017, this is Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. But previously, just a couple months ago, this was just Ireland. So this is an update that Ancestry did not too long ago. Um, so now, whereas just a little while ago, they considered that all Irish. Now they're calling it Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. 
Ancestry is also giving me a little bit, 2% Finnish Northwest Russia. They're giving me 1% Europe, Europe East. They're giving me 1% Iberian Peninsula. But if you look at that, again, it's, it's covering France in there. And, um, and see here, they just gave me my, less than 1% Great Britain. So very different results. Part of what is different here is it, they've got Europe, Europe East, which is 1%, and, and Europe West. So it looks the different companies are putting countries in different buckets, so to speak. So my Czech ancestry is in this Europe West bucket, whereas in other in the other companies it might have been you know under East Europe. So let's take a quick look at all three of them side by side, so we can really kind of see a little bit easier. All right, so here are the three results stacked side by side: Ancestry Europe West fifty percent. And family tree DNA, Europe West, Central Europe, 50%, pretty much 48%. And those match pretty good, but it's very different from what they have here at MyHeritage. And again, I think it's mostly because of the way they break it down, because I think MyHeritage is putting my Czech ancestry here in, in this Eastern European category, uh, rather than this, what they're considering North and West Europe. Uh, the big... Uh, question really for me again is this whole Scandinavian ethnicity, which you know I don't really know for sure where this comes from. But Ancestry says I've got 25%, uh, Family Tree DNA 9%, and my heritage is giving me a whopping 37.9% Scandinavian. So that's the big mystery for me as to uh, where exactly that comes from. Is that my Dutch ancestry or what's showing up? I do like the fact that Family Tree DNA gives me British ancestry because when I do my paper trail, when I lay out my family tree, I've got a bunch of ancestors from England. So it's nice to actually see um, British ancestry there. But, you know, I know that, you know, they've, oh, they've got English here in my heritage, 23%. It's just, it's just ancestry who's denying me my British ancestry. So... That's all right, I guess. But it's it's really different the way, the way they, they look at it, you know, from 37%, where was it? Oh, 23% here at MyHeritage and, and like less than 1% at Great Britain. So, so what do you think? You know, did you expect the results to be really close or really different? I, I think the one that's the biggest difference for me is that Scandinavian. Uh, otherwise, you can sort of account for the differences amongst the three companies. Now, I am not a DNA expert, but I'll tell you that the way they calculate this stuff is based on a thing called uh, reference populations. And those are the, the sample populations that they take from those regions and they compare your DNA to those populations. And then they can say, okay, you're Italian, you're Irish, you're whatever. Um, so I'm just going to point you to a, a reference for more information about that. If you go to the ISOG wiki, and ISOG is the International Society of Genetic Genealogy, and wiki, that's just like an online encyclopedia, just like Wikipedia, but this one is just for DNA and genetic genealogy. They've got a whole lot of information uh, on this site, which is really helpful. Uh, you just need to be patient with yourself as you tr figure out how it works. This particular page, and if you Google this, you will come to it um, just Google ISOG Wiki and autosomal DNA testing comparison chart. And what it's doing is it's taking the major testing companies, 23andMe, Family Tree DNA, and this is just for autosomal, Ancestry's DNA test, and they've got the National Geographic Genome Project, and then MyHeritage, and they're comparing them across all these different criteria. And if you come about halfway down on the page, you'll come to this one row that says overall accuracy and sophistication of the biogeographical ancestry analysis rated on a 1 to 10 scale with 10 being excellent and 1 being poor. And it, this is the ethnicity thing. And they talk about this the reference population that I mentioned. Uh, so you can come here and learn a little bit more about how they do that. Well, I hope you found this interesting. I'm curious to see if you uh, expected 
there to be such a great diversity across the three companies or whether you expected them to be all the same. And let me know if you have tested yourself at these three companies and what you have found. Did your results come up similar or did they come up really different? Let me know. Until next time, see ya.